Hi, this is Dave Hughes of World Championship Shih Tzu. Welcome to my free beginner's grappling series, video number eight. We're at Iron Lotus Gym in Gallatin, Tennessee, 30 minutes out of Nashville. I'm working with my assistant, Caleb Riker. He helps me with my World Championship Shih Tzu private lessons program out of Iron Lotus Gym, and we both are instructors at Ernie Reyes World Martial Arts. What we're going to be working on today is the introduction to the side mount. The side mount position is a dominant position, unlike the bottom guard. In the bottom guard, it's a 60-40, and the person on the top guard actually has the advantage. However, if the person in the bottom guard is good enough, they still can win the fight. Now, on the top side mount, I have a huge amount of control, and it's one thing I really like about the side mount is the fact that it makes it very, very difficult for, the part, for your opponent to get you off. Now, a regular mount is a more dominant striking position, but it's a lot easier for a bump and roll and to change the position and make it much, this makes it much harder for my opponent to be able to fight back. Now, when we're doing this, remember this is a series not for champion grapplers or even intermediates. This is a beginner set uh, series, so we're just focusing in on the very basic versions. This is not what I use for competition, but right now we want to get that foundation for the, for the beginning grappler. When Kayla comes down in the bottom side mount, what I want to do is go chest to chest. If you're in the middle of the sternum, right now I'm going to just put, hold him down using my thumb. Go ahead and sit up. He's like a turtle on his back. I'm going to put my chest to his chest. Think of if you had a snap on button. And we're going to, I'm going to snap my chest onto his so there's no place for, and no room for him to move. Now, I want to gain control of both his shoulders and hips, which are the control points of the body. Now, in a basic version, I'm going to bring it onto the balls of my feet so I can press in with my weight. I'm going to compress in, rounding it out. I'm going to come with an overhook on his shoulder, and my opposite elbow is into his hip. My knee on the left side is into his hip and I'm pressing against his head and ear, but I'm also close enough that I'm controlling his shoulder on this side. So if he tries to move, he's pretty much stuck there. And I'm pulling in and compressing in so that he, I'm not giving him any, any slack on the line that he can escape from. Now, one of the nice things is my weight is now put pressing on his diaphragm, so it's making it very difficult for him to breathe. So as, he get, as I have him here, all I can do, all I have to do at this point is if he's starting to move around using his legs as a base, is just r slightly raise my knees and my elbows up and just ride it like I'm riding a wave. And then when he's done, I just set it back down. Not a problem for me, but he's burning a lot of energy. At this point, he's going to get frantic and it just really helps me to get him stupid so he can make some mistakes that I can capitalize on. 